I think you can hear a lot of energy on the record. We never lost our excitement for it through the whole way of making it. Every time you received a part from somebody else, it was really exciting listening to what they'd done and hearing how they'd added to what it was the last time you heard it. I think that you can hear that energy coming through. I enjoy all parts of the recording process. There comes a point where you don't feel that you're responsible, you feel you're kind of being used by something. And watching a collective logic unfold, what happens when, when several people leave their comfort zones and allow the collective consciousness to take over. You don't foresee any kind of order. It's enjoyable to wallow in the chaos of it, but it's also fascinating just to see these little fragments of ideas turn into currents and the currents become these very developed ideas that are really satisfying in and of themselves. What was it like doing the photo shoot with Roger? Um, I think we all had more fun than we expected to that day. As soon as the guy finished telling us that we should not, under any circumstances, get inside the towers because they're dangerous and structurally unsound, the second he walked away, we all dived into the towers and they were phenomenal and they just looked so incredible that I think we knew that we'd get really interesting shots. He's just got an instinctive genius for seeing things he's never seen before and understanding how that translates into a small frame. Yeah, it was a cracking experience. He suggested we use this power station up in Derby. When we got there, we found that apparently a few of the towers, the actual insides were ripped out and uh, all the things that were actually holding the building up. Apparently they could fall down at any time. Your average photo shoot, an hour can feel like a lifetime. Two days with Roger, absolutely blew by. With Roger, he understands that you have to kind of capture what you're presented with. His genius for, for framing things also extends to, to people, really, that he understands that the, the character of the people, you can't funnel it too much or she'll get stale results. When we get together and play, we really feel that energy and it never seems to get any less, so I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out on stage in February. It's obviously been a long time since we played in front of people and I think that's going to be really reflected in the amount of energy that we've got between each other and that you'll hear coming through in the music. I think Black Submarine has got a huge other life as a live tune. I do enjoy playing that and it's one of those songs that you kind of have to let take over you really for it to do its thing. It is, it's not so much a song, but it's more a juggernaut. <laughs> I think I'm looking forward to playing all the songs. I enjoy playing pretty much every one. The obvious one though is Here's a Ring, which is actually very difficult to play in rehearsals because you know it's the end of the rehearsal when you play it because it does drain you emotionally and, and physically as well for something. Mentally just my head is completely in the thing. It's probably one of the most exhausting things to play and probably to listen to as well. I personally miss that in music. I feel music is too constructive these days. That tune in particular comes from a sort of primitive place somewhere in the stomach. What do I think on the album will surprise people? I'd like to think that it would be that they have expectations about what it's going to sound like based on where we've all come from, our backgrounds and our influences. Um, but I'd like to think that they'll be surprised uh, in thinking that it's greater than the sum of its parts. I would say the most surprising tune has already been released, really. Black I think what is going to surprise people is the fact that we've come up with an album of songs that stand up on their own merit, but also it's an album that isn't of any one particular genre musically. This is something that's kind of lacking in a lot of modern music nowadays, what I personally feel. It's got a lot of um, different emotional angles to it. I think that's what's going to surprise people. I think there's something in there for everybody. You can get very far stylistically deviating as long as the, the soul's the same, really, and, and the soul is the same in the record, you know, it's, it's all signs of the same coin, which is the five people that created it. Amelia is a very accomplished and brilliant songwriter in her own right. 
Dav, obviously a very strong songwriter, did a lot to say. And sonically, we love to play. We love to play with colours and dynamics and emotion. Hopefully people will, will sit and listen to this album in its entirety and the bits that currently don't make sense will make absolute sense after a few listening. Part of the whole reason of wanting to be a musician is the all experience of like not only recording but playing live and I think for me it's you know playing in different countries and experiencing different cultures. Where wouldn't I like to go? 